Hi everyone, welcome back to Catherine's Plates. As you can see, I've got my crock pot out this morning. I am going to create this dump and go recipe. Now this is a creamy, cheesy potato and ground beef soup. Yes, you guys, it is time to start bringing out our soup recipes. And this one is the first one for the season. So I'm pretty excited about that. And if you need more soup ideas, I'll link my playlist down below in the description box. Okay guys, the first thing you're going to want to do is cook up your ground beef with some onion and garlic and then we're going to put that in the crock pot and then load it up. Okay guys, so this is a crock pot soup. Now you can also do this in a large pot or Dutch oven and cook it much faster. But I've got a lot of time today so I'm going to cook it in the crock pot and just let it stew for hours. Now I'm just taking a medium onion here and it's just a yellow onion and I'm just chopping it into big pieces because it's going to sit in the crock pot for quite a while and you know it's going to melt. So we want the big pieces here so that we can find the onions at the end. Okay I'm going to go ahead now and start browning up my onion and my ground beef. So in just a medium skillet, I'm over medium high heat, I'm going to add about one tablespoon of some oil and go ahead and add my onion. Now what's nice about this also is that you can cook your ground beef the night before and have that ready. That way in the morning when you're ready to make your soup, you can just throw it all together. You not have to cook your meat in the morning, but either way is fine. All right, I'm going to go ahead now and season with a little bit of salt and some pepper to get that going. I've got one and a half pounds of ground beef that I'm going to put in. Okay, as soon as I get my ground beef all browned up and the onions are nice and soft, I'm going to bring it back. Okay, my ground beef is almost ready and browned up, so what I'm going to do is just take some fresh garlic here. Now, I have a little sleeve that I put my garlic in, and I just roll it, and it takes all the skin off of the garlic before I mince it up, so it's really cool. See, there you go. All nice and clean. That was fast, right? Then I just put it into my garlic mincer here, and it goes right into that little cup there. Do one more. Well, about two teaspoons of minced garlic. I'm going to cook it into the ground beef and onion for one minute. There we go. Ooh, nothing like fresh garlic. <laughs> I used to use the jarred garlic until I found this nifty little tool here, and oh my gosh, keeping everything nice and fresh, delicious. All right, we're just going to put this down for one minute, and then we're going to place this into the crock pot. Now make sure you drain your meat before you put it into the crock pot here. I just used some paper towels inside of here and got all that grease out. And to that, we're going to add 32 ounces of hash brown potatoes. Now, if you don't want to use these, you can certainly take some regular russet potatoes and chop those up into bite-sized pieces. Now, this is going to cook down, okay? So, I've got 12 ounces of frozen vegetables, any kind of vegetable you want to use in here. Now, I've got just a blend here of peas, carrots, green beans, and corn. Oh yeah, pour it in. You can half this recipe if you want. <laughs> I didn't quarter it. All right, so now we're gonna add six cups of some chicken stock. All right, I'm gonna flavor it with some Italian seasoning, one tablespoon. I 
All right, let's go ahead and mix this all up. All right, we're gonna place the lid on it. I'm gonna cook this on low for six to eight hours or on high for three to four hours. And when we come back, there's a few more ingredients we're gonna to add to make this creamy and cheesy. Okay guys, stay with me. Okay, so my soup is ready. What I'm gonna do now is add a thickener to it. And I'm just going to add two tablespoons of cornstarch. And I'm gonna add to that, we're gonna add one and a half cups of milk. All right, I'm just gonna whisk this together. We're gonna pour it in our soup. And I got one more thing to add to it. I'm super excited about this one, you guys. This has been smelling good for the last three to four hours. Look at that, you guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's add our milk cornstarch. Velveeta cheese. <laughs> That's my ingredient here if I don't trip over my dog. <laughs> so you're gonna need about eight ounces. And I just kind of cut it in slices here. I'm gonna lay it all over the soup because we want it to melt. So I've still got my crock pot on a high heat. I'm gonna place my lid back on. I'm gonna let this sit just until that cheese is nice and melted and then we're gonna stir it all in. Okay, you guys, here is my creamy, cheesy potato and ground beef soup with nice vegetables in there. All right, are you ready for fall? Start off with this soup here. Oh my gosh comforting soup for sure. Mm. So, it's so creamy. The cheese in there, the Italian seasonings, oh my gosh, everything in here. It's so delicious, you guys. How did I do starting off? the fall with my first soup. Okay, don't forget you can check out other soups in my link down below in the playlist. Guys, give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification so you'll know when shows like this one here are posted. Go make you some delicious crock pot soup. I will see you on my next episode.